All right. Welcome, everyone. This is called the Dietrich Ludwig Cooking Hour, and we're going to make some guacamole. How lovely. So first, let's start out by going over our ingredients. We have guacamoles, otherwise known as avocados. We have avocado mix, I mean guacamole mix, which is classic and spicy, great new flavor. Um, just add two avocados. So we have here five avocados for two packs of guacamole mix. I am a rule follower, and that's not gonna work. So we have to improvise a little bit. We have, um, we're going to add some uh, tomatoes, but of course on all cooking shows, we have them pre-prepared. Diced tomatoes, I slaved, I mean slaved my way um, to, 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 to cut them up. Actually, I didn't, but anyway, this is a herb. Um, I don't really know what it is. It starts out looking like this. And then after some time in the kitchen, it looks like this. Um, and we're also going to add some lime. Um, but I can't actually use this lime because it's a real one and I don't know how to deal with that. So I just got it in a bottle and that should be great. Um, okay, so here's how this is going to work. I am going to snap my fingers like this and all of the avocados are going to be cut in half. Actually, no, I'll show you how to do it once and then I will snap my fingers and they will be cut in half. But first we need a knife. And as you can see, all of our utensils are already pre-laid out here for us to be working with. Um, so here's a guacamole. I mean an avocado. Um, there's people behind the camera that are laughing, which is kind of funny. Um, so you take the, the avocado and you cut it around like you would, like if you were going to dismember somebody's face, this is cut around, make sure you cut past like, you know, like, like across near their eyes and like, under their, like underneath their chin. So when you like pull their face off um, to like hang it on like a, like a, <laughs> there's people laughing. Um, when you pull their face off and then take the skull out to like put it on top of a war lord's stick thing, that's how you would do it. Okay. So now you take the avocado and you cut it in half like that. Very much the way I just described. And I'm going to place this avocado right here where you can see it. And then I'm going to snap my fingers. Wow, that was amazing. Isn't that incredible? All of these just happen to cut themselves out of the interesting and amazing ways that life exists. Okay, now what we are going to do is each one of these um, things has a pit in it. And we're going to take the pit and put it into the bowl. Um, because what happens is the pit releases some sort of toxin that makes the guacamole stay green, which is great because nobody wants a pile of slimy, poopy guacamole that is not green. That is the consistency and color of poop. After we've done that, we are going to actually um, get a bowl, and I'm sorry that I do not have this laid out already, um, but we're actually going to reverse a few steps and take all those and put them in there. So when those will come into play later on in the film, then what we'll do is we'll take this. This is called a fork, for those of you who do not know. We're gonna take this fork. It has generally four prongs on it, and scoop it out. And I feel like a spoon would be way better for this. Can one of my assistants grab me a spoon? Um, yeah, a spoon would be a lot better for this. They just ran away. Okay. Thank you. Um, I s I'm wearing these sunglasses, and they're purely for aesthetic. They don't, they're not helping me at all. That's why I didn't see the spoon there, because I can't actually see very well. All right, now, um, I think over the course of the next few minutes, we're going to have some filmmaking magic. <clears throat> and all of these avocados are just going to magically... Whoa! That's amazing! Wow, now we have a full thing of avocados in here um, and a, a pile of avocado shells out here. Um, now, I remembered why the fork was necessary and the spoon was also over here because the fork is very important because now that we have the avocados jumped magically into this bowl, um, we take the fork and we, we use the fork to actually um, squish the avocados so that they become guacamole. Look at this, more filmmaking magic. So we, we squish and, and kind of gu 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 ties make these things more gooey than they would ordinarily be. That's what the fork is for. It's for making gooey. Now that we have done that, we can add um, the tomatoes that I've been like dicing all day long. And it makes it look like Christmas. Woo! Woo! This one goes in. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's cilantro. I knew that. And then we continue mixing. Until you get something that looks like that. Guacamole mix. And we take it. This is made with some ingredients. We put it in there. Looks a heck of a lot like cocaine. I bet snorting it would be interesting. It goes in there and now it looks like this. And then mom just arrived at the perfect instant in time to allow me to understand how much lime juice to put into this concoction. Well, <laughs> it's really just about that much. <laughs> These balls, nuts, or whatever you want to call them, I am trying to refrain from saying anything related to genitalia like penis or boobs or vagina. They go back in. Continue mixing. Until all the nuts 
All right, nicely lubricated. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you make avocados. <laughs> how you make guacam? What? How do you say? Gua? Guhak and Mahalui. What? It says Guha e Kama Oo. And that was a Dietrich Ludwig cooking moment. <laughs>